This chapter will set up a kangaroo definition to simulate the behavior of a suspended cable under self-weight. You may open the grasshopper file provided in the resource folder to follow along. To start, we need to define our initial line geometry within grasshopper. This can be referenced from Rhino or constructed in Grasshopper. The initial geometry is discretized by splitting the input curve at division points, calculated by the divide curve component and using the shatter component. The N input of the divide curve sets the number of divisions. The final deformation is directly proportional to the number of division points. For this definition, N is set to 10. The divide curve points and line segments from shatter are the discretized geometry for the particle spring system. Step 2 is to assign goals for the particle spring system. Output from shatter component is a list of line segments spanning between these points. To define spring properties to any line segment, we need the spring's rest length and current length. Rest length in any spring system is its target length. For example, consider a spring of rest length 5 cm, which is the normal spring state under zero external force. If we reduce the length by compressing the spring, the spring tries to expand. And if we increase the length by stretching the spring, it exerts a compression force. To assign the spring goal, use the length line component and use the line segments as the line input. The component will automatically extract the current length of these line segments. Use the numeric slider to assign the desired rest length for the spring. We will assign this value to five. This is our first goal. The second goal is point load that will simulate external force on the points. Output points from divide curve component are connected to the load component. Force vector requires a vector input describing the direction and magnitude of force. Use a negative Z vector with a magnitude of 10 as the force vector. Lastly, anchor the endpoints of the input curve using the anchor points component. This will ensure that the endpoints do not change position during simulation. Combine all goals into the merge component. This is an optional step that helps keep the definition organized. Alternately, you may input all goals directly into the kangaroo solver component. Step 3 in this process is setting up the kangaroo solver. Use the default kangaroo solver, connect the output from the merge component into goal object's input. Pull up a panel and read the data type coming from goal components. These are kangaroo-specific data types understood by the kangaroo solver component. Any other data input will result in an error. Reset input requires a button that helps rerun the solver after setting up the definition or changing the goal parameters.
the tolerance setting on the solver component determines the distance below which multiple points get combined into a single particle. Default value of 0.0001 is fine. Threshold determines the minimum movement distance below which the solver will converge. The default value assigned here is good enough. The input is a Boolean toggle that enables or disables the solver. Upon enabling the solver, the input line behaves like a suspended cable, elongated along the force vector, controlling the deformation. The arch-shaped curve derived using this form-finding method is called catenary curve. The deformation is directly proportional to the magnitude of input force vector. To understand what's happening, let's visualize the input goals as vectors. The input geometry is experiencing two kinds of forces. Spring force acts in tension, trying to reduce the length of line segments to the desired rest length, and the load force pushes the points in negative Z. The equilibrium of these forces results in this suspended line network. Increasing the rest length relaxes the resulting geometry, whereas reducing the rest length shortens the resulting geometry. Strength is an optional numerical input that scales the magnitude of associated goals. Use it as additional control over the final output, like this. The solver component gives three outputs, number of iterations to converge, list of particles or points, and the third output consists of lines and null values. To extract lines from this list, connect the output to the line container component. The input list has some null items. Use the clean tree command, set the remove nulls option to true. and the output geometry is a list of lines. Notice how the shape modifies with a change in the number of division points. We can also create variations to this form by assigning additional intermediate anchor points. Use list item to identify additional points to anchor, and add them to the anchor goal. This kangaroo definition can iterate multiple forms of catenary curve. In the next chapter, we will look into angular constraint goals applied to this definition.